What's up, guys? That's your player. To you guys, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just want to say before we watch this video, I me do a climb, watch a climb. To you guys, the uh, the video you're about to see is um about the Smurfs franchise. Also, I had to add some stuff out because some reason the video was not the parts of the video were some of the audio, the the Smurfs cartoon, but not the voices, not the commentary itself. So you know, it was very well. So I had to add some stuff out and just just me him and talking and all that stuff. So you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment, comments, guys, and that's all. Be like, subscribe, comment, guys, to, to my to my front channel, Watch Your Crunch, and we'll catch you in the video. Peace, guys. What's up guys, this is Nick like Pro here. Today to a video today talking about the Smurfs franchise. Hopefully it works out with with um this you know this collaboration with Retro Clunch because I'm he was so happy to talk to me about the Smurfs franchise. Also, um he's awesome doing eighties content, eighties and nineties and two thousand content, so it's for this Retro Clunch, guys. Hey, how's it going? What's Set up? The screen. I was getting blinded by it. Uh, yeah, hey, hey, thanks for having me on here. Um, it's really cool to uh, get to do a, a little collab with somebody. This uh, this guy, Najee, he's actually a subscriber on my channel and, and been on my channel for a while and used to do, um, you know, he's on my Discord, so that's really cool. And um, whenever you wanted to invite me on to uh, talk about the Smurfs, I was like, hey, yeah, sounds good. So. Um, what what kind of things do you want to talk about, man? Well, we got to talk about the questions first. The questions I got for you about the Smurfs, and then we can talk about the Hello World cartoon. Then we can go forward with um the cart the um, new cartoon that's coming out in twenty twenty one. Cause we got to pull up the Lost Village clips on on my screen after we pull up the Hello World cartoon, and so we got to do that today. So uh, okay. we're we're just um see what what I can pull up right now. All right. Okay. So, just so the audience knows, this is our first time, like trying to do a collab. So there this might be some. This is my first time doing collab, guys, and just and just to see, um, what what I can do with this, and um, and in the future also. So um, my first question is. Number one, my first question is, what is your early memory with a Smurfs? Franchise. Okay. So, uh, my earliest memory with the Smurfs. Um, okay, so it's definitely the 80s. Um, I'm an 80s kid. I was born in the, the late 70s, and I grew up in the 80s, and I believe... Oh, my constant... Yeah, it's... it's like, okay, so... The female... The, the Tony has announced... I'm not starting off. We're adding this female Smurfs in the new series... How do you feel about that? Um, let me see if I understand your question. How do I feel about um, new characters? New, like new, new, new characters. New characters. Like okay. from, from the um, movies, like, like from the Lost I, Village, okay like the female that. Smurfs. Oh well, so I, I'll speak towards the uh, the cartoon that's coming out uh, because I'm not familiar with the Lost Village because um, I haven't watched that one, but. Um, I'm, I'm anxious to see new characters. I, I think it's cool whenever they introduce new characters that that can um, kind of you know take this the show a little bit further. Um, they they did that with the old show when the old show um, uh, whenever they they didn't really remake the old show but they kind of um, um, they made a, a, a updated version. Remember Papa Smurf? The voice actor changed for it. Yeah. Um, so there were some changes, and they introduced uh, new characters. Baby Smurf. There's there's different things that were introduced, and I was fine with that. So um, them introducing uh, new uh, female Smurfs in it, I'm gonna say that you know it was cool having just Smurfette in the original one. Uh, I thought that was kind of fun, but um, kind of brought up some questions of how is there only one female? So yeah, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with them uh, introducing uh, more female characters. I don't have a problem with it at all. Okay. I'm very curious to see what kind of characters are gonna be. Um, 
Are they going to have names that are going to be related to their, uh, you know, their personality and what kind of personalities are we going to get to see introduced in the new show? So as long as it's not Snowflake Smurf, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean to say. And also, um, we feel about, um, the whole threat of the franchise itself since Nickel, since Sony has the rights to movie verse and now Paramount or Viacom CBS got the TV rights and um, all that stuff. What do you feel about that? What do you, is, it, is it good uh, news or bad news for you? So I, ha I have strong opinions about uh, reboots and uh, remakes and revivals. And yeah. my strongest opinion I have on it is every time that they reboot or remake something, for me, it's good. Whether it's bad or not, it's good for the franchise as a whole because it reminds people of the old material. It gets people into wanting to go watch the older stuff and it, and it makes it relevant again. So I'm fine with it. I think it's good that they, uh, they try new things. Um, sometimes they stick, sometimes they you know slide down the wall. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I don't have a problem with it at all. I think that they're gonna continue to do it and continue to make things that they think that the audience wants to watch. Um, I just wish that they would take the um, the older generations, the 80s generations more um, in mind whenever they're making this so that it'll better bridge the gap between the older and the younger generations and everybody will like it. Um, I think that they concentrate too much on the younger generations, which I understand it's about money, but um, I, I just wish that they would do a better, uh, better job of making the old fans happy as well. So that's kind of my opinion on it. Okay, so I have two more questions for you. Um, okay. number, okay, so, number, no, we have to put the number, um, how did you cut Smurfs merchandise, like from toys, from, com from comic books, everything? Um, so I never collected, uh, Smurfs comic books, I think, I think, um, it was mainly the figurines, and I might have had one or two of the glasses when I was young, so, um, I remember some people that I knew had some of the uh, the stuffed animals or the stuffed Smurfs. I never had any of the stuffed ones, but I did have the little. Um, I don't know. They were they were probably about two inch, maybe the two to three inch size figurines, and um, I probably had about four or five of them that I remember. I have a. I think I have some up in the attic now, but I don't remember how many I have. I have a ton of California raisins. Yeah, no, <laughs> but my I don't dad, have, my, uh, my dad, like, my, my dad quite, yeah. like, he quotes a lot of stuff in the 80s and 90s, I wouldn't even <laughs> hear, to say, because he, 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 like, yeah. my, my dad and you, sir, to, to make a video or do, do something, because he, he was a big fan of 80s stuff also, back in the day, <laughs> to always talk about 80s stuff, so, you know. He, he would probably relate to me a whole lot. Yeah, my, my, um, I know. Yeah, but the figurines, you know, I would I would love to, to collect a, a whole bunch of them. But um, it's it's not anything that I really have a, a large collection of now. But but yeah, growing up, I had I had some of the figurines. Um, I'm pretty sure I had a couple of glasses, and I probably got them from Burger King. That's usually where you get those. And um, what about those um, Viewmaster, like like Viewmaster stuff, like collectible stuff? Oh stores? yeah, I, I do remember those. Now, I don't think I own any personally, but I do remember seeing some of them in Viewmaster. Um, and then I think I had a, um, I swear I had a record. I had a record that had um, some Smurf songs on it. I just, I, I remember there was a, a point in time growing up that I took all of my records and I turned them into Frisbees. Oh my God, I'm still regretting that to this day. Oh yeah, but, um, I know. Yeah, I broke all my records. I broke all my records. Oh no. I was really young. I was young. I was, I was young. So yeah, uh, I turned them into Frisbees and I would break them and I would keep the ones that look like Chinese stars and do some Chinese stars. Yeah, oh, no. I was bad. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I remember. Um, I but I do remember the, the stuffed animals. I remember the coloring books. I definitely remember the coloring books. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I remember about the Smurfs. I never had like any, uh, uh, you know, any other figures besides the uh, the little figurines. But um, I do remember seeing a lot of the memorabilia, you know, all over the place. There was like, they had calendars. They had you know the little coloring books, uh, pencils. I definitely remember having some of the pencils when I was a kid as well, but yeah, but I can't recall a whole lot of a 
the stuff that I had that was smart because me personally I was in it he made so um yeah are you are you yeah here I can't hear you I can't hear you I can't hear you hear me hear me Um, but echo. Um, Trent kind of put. Oh, is it an echo on my side? Yeah. Oh, weird. I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta fix that. No, that's okay. I know. Let me try it. It's scored. Yeah. Um, what to say? Um, are you excited for the more swarms news to come in the fruit in the coming months? Like, the, like about the cartoon? Oh, yeah every time that they come out with any news news on it i'm definitely going to be interested to hear it um and like i said i'm really interested to see what a full trailer is going to look like what the uh, voice acting is going to look like and i want to know uh get more idea of what the premise is going to be whether it's going to be set in you know like smurf village and you got gargamel and azrael or whether they're going to uh, introduce some new villains or any of that kind of stuff i'm really probably well because it's an 80s we grew kind of and um it's a it's a is it like even we can we boo and we we got we make we boo now we know why because they're Hollywood and they want to want we boo everything and or like we want to we we make we boo we imagine you know I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure that can work out but you know um so what about like you guys in this picture right now you see Spurs Falls Village ending I I, I just show you guys this because um. This uh, this for all the female Smurfs and the main cast copy the new series in twenty twenty one on fall twenty twenty one and the Gondolian. So um I'm just talking to other um if you guys can see Smurfs on Village, it's a must see movie. For from my, my choice point of view it's a must see movie because I don't want everybody so back in April of seven twenty seventeen or twenty seventeen in general, we got a bunch of other films like Catch Underpants and Guardians 2 and other films that did well but not Smurfs Village Village because it's not a full reboot and, and some people are saying it's a uh, different kind of movie and not the point of white and first name terrorists and and what the other film it's, it's complicated guys it's complicated because um Sony is trying we make trying to we try we try to reboot Smurfs franchise again with this movie for the twenty seventeen. It probably about twenty sixteen, but I don't know why it came out twenty seventeen. So you know. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch it, and um, I'm it, you you've kind of uh, made made it um, more interesting for me, and kind of got me re reinvigorated into wanting to delve back into this uh, this Smurf world that I kind of uh, let slip to the side a little bit. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna rewatch the uh, the second Smurfs movie because. I kind of like have watched Neil Patrick it. Harris. I'll definitely watch the seventeen one. Yeah, the okay. So White Bats and Smurf movies, Neil Patrick Harris. Those are different. Um, the the reboot. That's a totally different thing. No Neil Patrick Harris. No portals. No anything else. No White Bats in setting. No New York City or New York or any one channel. Just. Yeah. Like to have a bird cartoon, yeah, but you know, yeah, yeah but what, but cartoon, cartoon, you know, and we can yeah. make characters and stuff. Yeah, that's important. I think that's important. I'm glad they're doing that. Going back, old and school, that's that's only to just learn because you know, happened last time with Sony try to, you know, let people control their stuff and you know how companies are now. You know, I um. And um. And if anyone want to say to viewers, like, say for the cartoon for 2021, um, for 2021. Mm -hmm. I'll say, um, if you guys like the Smurfs, if you're interested in seeing them go back to uh, the beginning of what we've all liked about the Smurfs, this might be something that might interest you. Um, if you're like me and you're, uh, you have uh, some, some kind of guarded feelings on it because you want them to um make, make it, it like, like the old version you're probably not going to get that but hopefully we at least get something that's going to kind of um bring the old viewer and the new viewer together and that they make something that we're really going to be interested in so that's uh that's how i feel about it 
And it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this um, reboot, with this deal, this um, partnership with, with Nickelodeon, and but goodbye call with Nickelodeon and Paramount and such, and um, and um, I surprised every when we, when we get Smurf movie from Paramount. But it'll be interesting because um, Sony Sony writes their Smurf movie rights, and um, then I I, I feel that Sony wants to make more Smurf movies, but ain't not anytime soon. You know what happens. So um, I think Sony's gonna sell off the rights to the Smurfs to to somebody else, or just keep I I like the movie rights is for Sony, and um, the TV, and the other way, the, like the company who owns the Smurfs. Only move rights also because they're they're our IP, they are they are characters and such. But Sony, they give them to Sony to make more Smurf movies. But I understand that they they want to um make a new TV series for the Smurfs for the Warrior. That way um they can um that way they can capitalize on the new viewers, a new generation of, of 80s fans, the Star fans. So I can I I can understand that.